tried to treat it like a real short film because I feel like it's a much better test for lenses and other gear. Putting it in a narrative environment, not babysitting, having to an ambitious schedule, so they have to live up to the speed of a real shoot. We made it where if it wasn't something that could hold up, it would be the weakest link and it would show right away. And the lenses did fantastic. This was the daytime scene. And the goal of this was to have really natural skin tones and have a really bright environment outside and pretty dark inside and still be able to have all the resolution, all the contrast in a really crisp image. That's one of the biggest, most challenging situations for any lens, let alone a zoom. Most primes can't deal with this situation. And here you can see a really clean line from the actor to the outdoors. Dark, high contrast, and with color is really unforgiving on a lens. A lot of the lenses will start to go gray on skin tones. They'll start to blend and get muddy on the low end. So what this tested was how clean are the highlights? How do they roll off? Are the shadows clean? And it, it really keeps that contrast there. And what I noticed years ago with Master Primes is that I could underexpose a half stop more and still get the same amount of information. And that let me light differently. And so that's something I really like to test on lenses is whether they can have that low light definition so that I can still tell the story. I want everyone to understand what's happening, but I have more range to do that. Traditionally, there's been a lot of compromises to make a zoom. So what you gain in flexibility and speed, you lose in T-stop and you lose in resolution, breathing, and it just feels different. This is the first time that I feel like this is part of the same lens set. These just happen to be zooms.